Hey there guys, welcome back to another Fly Tying Friday. Tonight I'll be talking about midges, and as an example I'll be tying a zebra midge. It's a really simple midge and it's super effective too, but um, what I want to talk about is your hook selection. So as you can see here, I have a, uh, this is a size 20 hook from Allen. It's a 201 model, but as you can see it has a straight eye, and I think that's super key, and the difference is whenever you have a turned down eye, and I think that uh, makes the fly less effective. I'm going to put a picture up right now of what I'm talking about, and as you can see, the one hook has a downturned eye, and it's like your normal traditional scud hook, and the other hook has a straight eye, which, which is what I'm tying on tonight. And that straight eye gives you a larger hook gap, so it also and also it gives you your bead um, a place to rest up against and stay even and straight. So I think that downturned hook eye basically makes a smaller hook gap. And with these flies, like tonight I'm tying on a size 20, you need as much hook gap as you can get. So I just think that's a super important key to a good midge. And another key is I see a lot of midges tied with a bead that's too large for the hook. So you want to make sure your proportions are right, especially when you're using glass beads because it's tough to find glass beads that are small enough for your hook gap. Um, Caddis beads, I, I think that's a company, Caddis Fly Tying Company, they make a, um, a bead that's a pretty small, a glass bead. Otherwise, I use these uh, beads from Allen. This is a 1.5 millimeter, and basically that size works down to a 22 for me, and on a 24 it starts getting to where it's taking up too much of the hook gap. So I, I think you just need to keep that in mind whenever you're selecting a uh, bead and hook combination for a midge. And uh, so we'll get started tying here, but um, I think it's just important to keep those two concepts uh, dialed in. And I, I just see a lot of midges with giant beads that take up the hook gap. So and it just reduces your uh, your hookup ratios, which is something you do not want to do. So, but for this fly, I started off with some uh, A dot black thread, and that's going to be our base for the body. It's a really easy, just simple thread body, and we're going to tie in some wire now, and it's the uh, Brazzy size ultra wire in silver. So we'll go ahead and just tie that in the back of the hook. You just want to be uh, really careful making sure you work this body up evenly. And trim that tag out there. So we'll just cover up that wire and start working a taper up uh, at the bead. So we want to go ahead and build a nice thread base up at the bead and then taper that back the rest of the way for the fly. And just make sure everything's covered up. On my side I can still see some of that wire showing through the thread. And just make a nice even body. Another thing with the midges, I see really fat bodies on them sometimes, and the closer you get to that hook point, you definitely want to um, start tapering out that body and feathering out so you, you're you not reducing that hook gap. Now we're just going to wrap that th uh, wire straight up, do some uh, spiral wraps, some nice even wraps. Secure that. And just take a jump pair of scissors and trim that out. So the last step is just a little crystal flash wing. This is the micro flash crystal flash. 
and I take a piece longer than what I need and just wrap it around the thread, double it over, and just fix it up so it's sitting right on top of the body. Just do that. We'll uh, go ahead and whip finish. And that pretty much does it for the uh, zebra midge. You can, uh, if you want, put some uh, like UV resin or something on it, but um, to coat the body. Some people do that. It's fine. It would help it sink a little faster and make it more durable. I like them just as is. Um, I also trim this wing up about three quarters of the length of the body, just like that. Pretty much does it for the uh, zebra midge. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope those uh, tips and tricks help you out to catch some more fish. And, um, improve your tying so thanks for watching and we'll see you next week on another fly time Friday